Shireen Bhan caught up with Noel Quinn, who is the group chief executive of HSBC. He says that growth in India has been consistent and he sees huge potential for India to be a big global supplier as geopolitical concerns for reorganizing the global supply chain. Listen in. I'm really pleased with the growth we've seen and the great thing is it's been consistent for the last 10 years and that was one of our ambitions not start stop start stop into India out of India but consistent growth consist, consistent investment and be a sort of a, a, a reputable player that people can rely on we're dependable and we're there for the long term for India and that's my plan going forward continued investment is definitely coming across all business lines commercial banking, retail and wealth, and our global banking and markets business. But we'll be there for the long term. It's not just one spurt of investment and then walk away. It's consistent long-term investment. Mm. Possible m and here in India as well, in some of those areas that you spoke of, and I know that you want to focus much more on the wealth management side, on the asset management side. Uh, would, that be, uh, would those be areas of opportunity from an M&A perspective? Well, I'm pleased well? to say we've already done our first deal with the... Uh, announced acquisition of our, the asset management business from L&T. We're hoping to get approval on that very shortly. Uh, and that's a good platform for future growth in asset management. And I'm willing to consider further acquisitions should they become available in the future. Okay. You will also be aware that we've, we're already in a joint venture on the insurance business. Um, we've announced that we are in discussions to try and increase our share of the joint venture uh, to 49%. And we'll see how those discussions go. But that's, I think, a measure of our appetite to continue to invest in India. Mm -hmm. You know, you talked about uh, the changes that we are seeing in supply chains, and you, uh, you, you believe that this is not deglobalization, but it's reglobalization, yeah. and that's what I want to pick up on. How much of this reglobalization is going to benefit India? Uh, what we are starting to see is, uh, you know, people are looking at nearshoring, so moving manufacturing facilities closer to the home market. We're also seeing this China one, uh, China plus one strategy play itself out. Where does India find itself in the middle of all of this? Well, I think there's a number of factors at play. I think geopolitics is one of the factors. I think COVID made an awful lot of buyers realize. They shouldn't be over-dependent on any one source of supply or any one particular supplier, that they need to have contingency in their supply chain. Um, and I think resilience is an important factor in supply chains. So I asked why I use the word re-globalization. I think people are adjusting supply chains for a range of factors, and they're sourcing from multiple uh, countries and multiple suppliers. And I think India has huge potential uh, to be one of those suppliers going forward. We're seeing evidence of that already in that manufacturing plants are starting to be built in India. And credit to the government of India. They've created an environment that is stable politically uh, on a domestic front, but they've also made substantive changes to the way the economy works. The introduction of GST, the digitization of payments, the digitization of identity, make it that much easier for a foreign company to come and establish a base here in India. Okay, remember you can catch excerpts of the chat with Noel Quinn, the group chief executive at HSBC, all day today only on CNBC TV 18. Let's slip into a quick break on that note, but on the other side of the break, it's our special segment, it's the economy. Lata will get chatting with Sham Srinivasan of Federal Bank on the surging stocks in the banking space and merger speculation surrounding the bank as well. Stay tuned.